Hello. In today's video, we're going to see how to recover our prompts. Let's imagine we have an image generated with artificial intelligence, like this one. We've saved it on our computer, we like it, and we want to recreate this style using some of its properties, but we no longer have the prompts. Many people jot down those prompt sequences they like in a notepad, but this can be a bit tedious and certainly quite chaotic. So, in this video, I'm going to quickly give you some tips to recover the prompts of your images, both in mid-journey and stable diffusion. As you know, with Midjourney, we can ask it to describe the image we provide simply with the describe command and by uploading our image. This way it analyzes it and gives us different descriptions. It can be useful for inspiration or new ideas, but it's never what we actually use to generate it. Fortunately, Midjourney is slowly moving away from Discord, and just a few days ago, they introduced their own website where they store all our creations. To do this, we just have to go to midjourney.com, log in to our account if we're already registered, and here in My Images, we can see the entire history of what we've generated from the beginning. This way, we no longer have to keep saving images in folders or prompts in a text document. Instead, we can access all of them to recover the information they were generated with. And now, simply by clicking on each one, we can see their prompts. For example, for this one, I used the description Synthography Art, Metaphysic Art of a Hyena. And for this other drawing of the hyena, I used the description Analytic Drawing, Diagrammatic Technical Drawing. I find it particularly interesting to experiment with different techniques and styles to generate images with artificial intelligence. Having this directory and being able to recover the prompts seems really useful. If you're interested, I can make a video with different techniques and styles that I find interesting. You just have to let me know in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to not miss any future content. And another interesting thing about this directory is that we can filter images by terms. Let's go to this prompt search bar. I simply typed in metaph for metaphysical, and here it goes, filtering all the images that have been generated using this term. So this seems like a simple but fantastic tool to recover our prompts, in this case with Midjourney. And now let's see how to do it with stable diffusion. I have this image, for example, that it generates at that time with stable diffusion. And as we can see, the default name is a few numbers and the format. If we look in properties, obviously there's no trace of the prompt, but we can easily recover it from stable diffusion. Remember that you should have at least the updated version of Automatic 1111. Well, once it's open, we have to click on PNG Info since it saves it by default in PNG format. Here we search and load the image or simply drag it, and as we can see, it directly shows us all the parameters, the proxy I used and all the data used to generate it. Steps, the type of sampler, the scale, the route was activated, face restoration, size, etc. We can even see the model, which would be version 2 of Inkpunk Diffusion. Important. To save this information, we must ensure that in the settings, we have previously activated this option. Save text information about generation parameters as chunks to PNG files. That simple. This is a quick video, but I hope you find it interesting and useful so you don't fall into despair if you've lost the prompts. You can leave me a like and subscribe to the channel for more utilities. Greetings and until the next video.